Hey guys, what's up? Just no freaking way here, and I'm coming at you with another Kerbal Space Program video because I am addicted to this game. Now, uh, right now, I um, expanded on my rocket last time, so it's much, much bigger, and it should go a little bit faster, but, uh, you know, it's very difficult to make a rocket go fast as, uh, as I'm going to. And so this is what I've come up with so far. And uh, anything is big so far, there's, there's still more, hang on. Yeah, it's big, right? And that's gonna see how fast I can get today. Now, um, it's gonna be very tough to do this because I have to get very far in the atmosphere. And so, uh, we'll see how I do. Now, this is the second time I'm trying to make this commentary, and I'm always doing a live comp for these. So, uh, let's hope it doesn't fail as bad as last time. And they totally blow up again, and we'll see where we go. Now, one more thing before we start. I can't um, waste any time as soon as I launch the rocket because the structure is actually unstable down here. So if this like tries to rest on the ground, the sides of this will fall off, which means I have to launch these jets as fast as possible so they don't fall off the rocket. And these metal bars don't hold them in place. They don't uh, hold them up. They just hold them in place so they don't fall away from the rocket, but they don't hold it on the rocket either. I turn on the SAS system and launch. And away we go. Now there's so many parts on this rocket that it's I'm aware that it's lagging like hell. But uh, apparently uh, 6 gigs of RAM and a quad core 2.3 gigahertz processor isn't enough to run this program. Which is funny, I know. It's like Minecraft should only be played on the desktop. And this is what I've got. You know, I'm at college, I don't have access to a desktop with this installed. I figured out what I did wrong last time. I forgot to throttle up, which uh, means uh, the solid fuel rockets, they only have one speed. Go. <laughs> Got one speed of one, one gear. Go. Charlie shooting quote for you. But um, the liquid fuel rockets, their uh, speed is determined by the throttle. And uh, last time I forgot to put on the throttle because I forgot I had to. Because I used so many of these solid fuel rockets that just boosted up on its own. So I'm at... Uh, 44 meters per second and rising and uh, once this bottom shell is done I'll break it off and start with the next one and there it goes break it off and launch the next now I think the coolest thing is that giant stream of jet behind the rocket let's see if we can get a better look at this oh yeah that is really badass man <laughs> I like uh, I like watching this while I listen to Flagpole Sitter. I mean, I wanted to let a montage, but I don't have a, uh, rights to use that song. Otherwise, I would. And being a typical college student, I'm too lazy to try and get them. No offense to you college students out there that don't procrastinate. I'm just one of those guys. Now, let's see. 40 seconds into the mission, we're still at one frame per second according to Fraps, which is crappy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm very sorry. But I strongly recommend you watch this in HD at full screen, or else you won't be able to see all the controls that I see right now. It's almost time to break off this shell. Now, um, the, I, I, the way I, you know, I've described it this way before, but the way I build rockets is in a shell method, where I basically coat the bottom of the rocket with rockets that uh, will break off in stages, with the inner shell being the one that's the most valuable, because that's the farthest into space, and you need to burn that one the longest to get as fast as you can. But, uh... Also, the more shells you have on, the heavier the rocket is, so the more rockets you need in the shell, which is why you get that pyramidal conal shape when the rocket's at its maximum size. Now, uh, don't worry, the rocket will still be one long, narrow shaft after it's done. Giggity, giggity. That's a reference to my last video, if you saw it. And uh, all the three guys are pretty happy right now, but I don't know, I'm getting a little nervous. Now this shell has two stages. It's you know one stage, but there's actually two parts to it. These side rockets are going to break off, but the bottom part is going to keep going. 
and that'll keep me up. That'll keep pushing me into the atmosphere. Now this is the part where I messed up last night, uh, last time, because the throttle wasn't very high. Oh shit, I'm tilting. Now when, because the throttle wasn't very high, uh, the rocket dropped down to maybe 100 meters per second. And then I was like, what the hell, are these rockets even on? Hit the space bar to launch it, and it blew up. <laughs> because the rocket above it uh, launched into it and just fired the whole thing. Now, uh, the reason that it did that is because right now the rockets are not connected. The piece that's firing right now is on the very bottom. is not actually connected to the rest of the shuttle. It's just pushing on it. And uh, it, it's a neat trick that I figured out because the rockets on the side were done burning. But since they were just dead weight then, I figured I could just get rid of them, and the rocket on the bottom would keep pushing. And it does. So uh, that's a handy little trick if you guys ever try this at home, or on your own. And I think you should give it a shot. It's a good way to lose weight whilst maintaining your speed. Now uh, my goal after this stage is over to be going around a thousand meters per second. But I'm um, not too sure right now. I have... The rockets have about uh, the rockets on the bottom have about a quarter of a tank left in each of the three. And once that's gone, I just ditch it. Give it a second. I'm a little worried about this rocket's tilt right now. Might have to recenter it, or we might just end up going sideways a little bit. Either way. Uh, you know, I don't think it'll keep us from reaching our speed goal. Actually, should be falling away right now. All right, awesome. Now, let's launch this. All right, now the bottom rocket is going. Thanks to the globe, you can't actually see it. But there it is. There it is. Just over the bottom. I've got to re-vertical myself. Now, this is going to detract from the speed a little bit because of uh, me going sideways there for a minute. That'll take away from the speed. But... It's okay, and I understand this isn't the world record, it's just my personal goal, and my personal video for you guys. The frame rate's starting to uh, increase because I don't have such a clusterfuck attached to my rocket anymore. It really boiled down to such a small rocket in comparison. Man, it was that, that behemoth, and now it's nothing. I hope my neighbors don't think I'm crazy because I just sit here and talk to my computer all day. I'd hope the college would make sure that the walls are a little thicker than that. But I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm probably crazy. I think it's great watching this uh, rocket take off and listening to Flag Pulse Sitter uh, at the same time. Something I've been having fun with recently because you can get some pretty cool shots, and I'd like to upload it as a montage for you guys, but I don't have the rights to flagpole soda. And as a normal college student, I'm too lazy to try and get them. So, look at that big blue marble. I can see my house from here. No, you can't. <laughs> So, uh, now, uh, a little bit about my interests in YouTube. I like watching, you know, Wicked Shrapnel and those guys. Oh, I can drop this rocket now. Sweet, there it goes. You know, Wicked Shrapnel is one of my favorite commentators. Comment if you like him, too, because he's awesome. <laughs> Might do my own series. This rocket fucking sucks. <sighs> and I just realized that if you don't watch Wicked Shrapnel, you're not going to get that joke. Sorry. So I just passed 2,000 meters per second. Now my record with this was 6,730. Oh man, I ruined the whole commentary. Well, no, I don't think I'll be getting that record again because of a uh, little screw up before with the rockets tilting. But it, nonetheless, it should be in commentary for you guys. Just about at 3,000 meters per second. I can start going more vertically because the uh, trajectory of the rocket hit vertical. 
if you look at the globe at the bottom, the uh, circle with the three uh, with the four lines coming out of it, or the three lines coming out of it, that's the trajectory of the rocket, and the uh, V with the dot in the center is where the rocket's pointed. And I'm not going to move that now because it'll probably mess it up, but uh, you'll understand if you see it. And uh, those guys at the bottom right provide ever amusement with their shenanigans. I can't see their names from here when I'm recording this, but I know you can see it in the YouTube video. I think it's like Bob Jebediah and some something else. I can't remember his name. I know you guys can see it. Like post his name is this. You can see it right there. Well. Thanks to this program's layout, you can't see it unless you actually watch a video of it, which is, you know, poor designing. Me going to college for software engineering, I should know how to fix it or avoid errors like this. And there's no way for me to maximize the screen either. They made the program without being able to maximize the screen. How, how awful is that? Alright, now I'm on the last rocket. So let's see how fast this one will get us. I'm hoping we get into the 6,000 range. It looks it looks good at this point. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll get into the 6,000 range. It's just how much past that can I get? And uh, since this video was a somewhat a success, I'll just upload it. I don't really care if it's my actual record or not. In fact, I know it's not going to be. Oh well. Now all three guys are happy. If anyone knows the algorithm of what makes them happy or sad or not, please post it in a comment or message me because I'm really curious. Alright, so we passed in the 6,000 and now everything here is just determining how fast we can go. 300, 50, 400. Oh no! Uh, I didn't make it to seven, six, seven hundred. All right, let's end flight and check. Highest speed achieved six thousand six hundred ninety-eight point four. Oh, it's off by one point six meters per second. Oh well, that was really close, guys. And I will see you in another commentary. I might do another speed run. Uh, might not. Let me know if you want to see it. And I will see you guys later. Peace.